Now that we have our basic synthesizer patch, let's go ahead and make it into a polyphonic synthesizer patch. We'll go ahead and copy the basic synth patch and rename it basic synth poly. Close this and on the organelle choose reload and fire up basic synth poly. One addition I thought would be fun because knob 4 is not controlling anything is to have knob 4 control some kind of glide or portamento between notes. So to do this we want the oscillator when it receives this frequency we want it to slide between one frequency to the next and not just jump there. And actually, we'll just get rid of this guy. There's a trick for doing this, which is using the low pass filter again. We're going to feed the oscillator frequency into a low pass filter and then we're going to use the knob 4 to control the cutoff of that low pass filter so that when the cutoff frequency is really really low it'll take a long time for the oscillator's frequency to change to the target frequency. I don't really know what the cutoff frequency should be so we're just going to try from say 0.1 to 10 hertz. So I'm going to multiply knob 4, 4 by 10 and then I'm going to add 0.1 or let's say 0.01 and see what that gives us. So now when knob 4 is down, the cutoff frequency on that low pass filter is very low, so it takes a long time for the frequency of the oscillator to ramp up. And ramp down. I think probably a frequency of 0.1 is sufficient there. But the other thing we want to do is flip it so that when we turn knob 4 all the way up, the glide is the highest. So to flip the knob, we just multiply it by minus 1 and take the absolute value. So now the knob will go from 1 to 0 instead of 0 to 1 not multiply it by negative 1, we want to subtract 1 and then take the absolute value. So now there's a little bit of glide and we turn it all the way up and there's really a lot of glide. So now we have knob 4 controlling the glide and we want to put a label on here so we'll grab this from knob 3 and say 4 glide and we're just going to say percent because I don't really know what the units are supposed to be and the trick here is to multiply by 100 right from the knob and convert that into an integer. So it gives us a nice number from 0 to 100 percent. Oops, we forgot to change screen line 3 to screen line 4. So now screen line 3 is tuning and screen line 4 is glide. So no glide.
lots of glide. So now we want to make this synthesizer polyphonic. The best way to do that is to separate out the guts of the synthesizer from everything controlling it. So we have this knob 4, for example. It's getting scaled, and then it's used to adjust the cutoff frequency of this low-pass filter. But let's separate it from the synthesizer kind of engine it, itself. And we're just going to send something called glide. And then over here, we'll receive glide. So just check it still works. And we'll do that for the other knobs too. Knob one is controlling tack. So we'll say send attack. And we'll put the receive over here. Receive attack. And then here we'll send decay. I guess it's really release, but no matter. Receive decay. And the same for the tuning. We'll send tune. Let's just clean this up. and we'll receive tune. So let's just see that it's all working. Seems to be good. So we've separated the knobs and the display of the knobs from the actual kind of synth engine part. Next, we want to put this all in a black box of sub patch, and we'll call it PD synth voice. So in that goes all of this. We're going to control X, cut, cut it, and paste it in here. And what do we want out of this black box? Well, we want sound out, so we're going to have an audio, a signal outlet, outlet, and then we want a notes inlet. So we've turned this into a black box that takes notes in and spits out audio. So we can say receive notes and throw out L. Connect this up here. And functionally, it is the same, but it's a lot simpler to look at. And now it's easy to make polyphonic. And that's done using the poly object. We run the notes into the poly. We tell how many voices we want, say six, and say that one for note stealing is activated. And then this spits out a note number, or a voice number, and then the note number, then the velocity. So we're going to pack all those three numbers into one message and we're going to route that message based on the note number I mean the voice number route one two three four five six so out of route will come note messages and then we're going to send those into six synthesizers six individual synthesizer voices.
And then the outlets, I'm going to put this times here. Because what we want to do, we want to connect all the outlets together, but then we want to multiply them by a number less than one. Because now that there's six voices, if they're all playing in maximum value, it'll overwhelm the output of the organelle and it'll start to clip. So we want to maybe multiply these by 0.2. And then we throw it out here. So there's one voice. There's two. We'll save this. And we're going to open it one last time before getting out of the graphical display just to make sure everything works. It seems to be good, so we can close this down, open it up one last time. have a very strange little synthesizer.